Hey, hi, um, Judd here and Shosie. So it is the 31st of October today and I don't know where on earth the year's gone to. But what we wanted to talk about was November particularly is a great time to sell your house. Um, and why it's a great time to sell your house. Uh, I think there's a lot of people out there who are thinking of trading up, trading down, trading sideways. Um, I think there's certainly a feeling out there that it's difficult because there's not too many houses to buy and there's not too much to rent. And we totally understand that. But in terms of the prices that you get, they are pretty amazing. Um, we've got about eight weeks till Christmas. Uh, seven weeks and six days, to be fair. Not that I've been counting. Or... Been no. Is it worrying you? <laughs> not Do you at all. Do you want present yet? Maybe. Mm, so I hope it's big this year. Um, so, Octo um, October heading into November. What's good about November? Why do you think it's a great time to sell shows? There's hardly anything on the market out there. So um, you need to get your property there. There's so many buyers looking. Um, so we just need, yeah, get your property online, make the most of um, this time of Christmas. Um, so price-wise, that means great prices. Yeah, like so many buyers, and so you obviously, you know, get good prices out there. Well, generally we're selling most things like buy negotiation. So. Um, it's probably kind of crazy, but it's kind of disappointing for us if we don't have an offer on something within the first week. Um, and, and it's so, so fast because the best buyers in the market are very much watching the papers, watching the internet, and they are pretty much there on the first open home. And we're pretty confident that, that they are there should the advertising have been done sufficiently. And so you're getting these great buyers, you're getting multiple offers, and you're getting very, very good prices. And what is a diminishing market in terms of the number, the amount of stock? Um, we were just saying in our meeting today, there's been a, a lot of uh, rental properties sold to first home buyers. So there's, there's a, a whole lot less rental properties out there as well. Um, we're finding investors back in the market too. So you know, when there was first home buyers looking for something, um, now that now the investors are competing for that same house. So I had yeah oh. five five buyers at my open home in the weekend with um, all. Well, I didn't have five. I had fourteen through, but I have five of them that were parents looking for their kids, and their kids are still at high school, but they're looking for the future because they know that they you know these first home buyers probably aren't going to be. Yeah. And I think Christmas um, buyers want to be in for Christmas, so you know get your ma uh, house on the market in November and have settlement um, Christmas because yeah. they want to be in their home. Ideally, um, I think in a perfect world you don't want to be too much after uh, the middle of November because uh, it would be sold before the end of November, um, probably in a week or so, like probably by the 21st it would be sold and, um, and then you've got time for settlement for people to move in before Christmas. The interesting thing too is that when you're marketing in mid to later November, there's a lot of people who come along not necessarily expecting to get in by Christmas. And so you can have an extended position date. It's very easy to get an extended position date this time of year. So you could be sold in November and, and give settlement in, in January or in February, which gives you as a, a vendor um, that wonderful position that you're a cash purchaser uh, during all of that time over Christmas. And that's an interesting thing in itself. Like if there's any time that you're going to get a, uh, we'll say a good buy, there's no no steals in this market, but if you're gonna get a good buy, uh, it's over that time when people may have put their price, properties on the market prior to Christmas. They may have been a little bit expensive and they haven't sold and they've languished a wee bit before Christmas. And um, buyers can come in during that Christmas period when everybody else is in Wanaka, uh, so the competition drops a little bit and you can, um, you can get a reasonable buy and you might not have quite as much um, competition over that Christmas period. Yeah, I think over the period that's when people do have time to, you know, have a wee chat and be like, should we upgrade, sell a house? So then, you know, more and more is going to come on the market um, early, yeah. early year. So sell now yeah. while there's not much, get all the buyers to your house, fight, you know, fighting over it. Mm. And if you can't get your act together basically before Christmas, it, having your property on the market during that Christmas period on the websites um, or being in the last property press is, is not all bad either because there are, well as our representative from, uh, from realestate.co tells us, it is the most watched uh, time right through that Christmas uh, New Year period where people relax and 
they, um, they get over opening presents and they decide that it's time to go looking for a house and they just hop online and they absolutely look at everything. So um, although it's a bit quiet around town, the activity on the internet's pretty extreme. So that's, uh, that's our tips for the day. It is. It is, it is. So thank you very much. Thank Good you. luck out there.